It is Wednesday, November 2nd, 2011 at 4.20 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And I want to give you some more information on some plumes that um, came up near New Madrid, Missouri yesterday about um, 1 o'clock Central Daylight Time. We are looking at the USDA Forest Service and this is a, a map of that area at 1654 GMT and I've loaded it and this is what it looks like here. If I go forward in time they took another shot at 1831 GMT that's an hour and a half later and I loaded that image also and this is what it looks like. And as you can see we have plumes that that are appearing here whereas if I go back here you can see that they're not there so between 1700 GMT and 1830 GMT all of these plumes appeared. I went on Google Earth and plotted where the plumes are and you can see here's St. Louis, Missouri, here's New Madrid. I'm going to read each of these off. I'll try to make a, um, a coordinates longitude latitude. I'll try to put those in the post later on as I have time. But there's one east south east of Pea Ridge, one north of Roby, one east of Winona, one east south east of Bros Brosley. And I have to zoom in a little bit on these. They all ran together. One east south east of Neelyville. We've got one right here. Um, here's one north of Noble. Here's one northeast of Corning. I will make this small and we'll go over here. And I'm going to zoom in on this. And I can't really control the zooming in. It only zooms one place. So we'll start down here where there's the greatest concentration of them. And I only address the ones that are fairly obvious. Put that one back up. Oh, this doesn't want to go away. Let's turn that off. There we go. So this one is this one. This one is this one. You can see the pattern matches. And then this one's over here. So I'm going to zoom in here and show you what I found at each site. Now this one's really interesting. I didn't find any right where the plume is rising from other than it's on a river. But there's this interesting thing going on here. We have plus signs. Here's a double plus sign. Here's a little loop-de-doop. These are all cut out of this forest area. It's calling it Little River Island, whatever that is. And all these little dots in the trees, little clearings cut out. I don't know. I'll zoom in, but I didn't see anything. Circles, I don't know. <laughs> But it's just odd that there's like double plus signs. That's not a normal thing. You know, a square is one thing, but when you start getting plus signs and double plus signs, that's something else. But anyway, back on subject. We'll go over here. And that's right by Noble. Here's Noble. Here's the one northeast of Corning. And now I can't be totally precise, so maybe someone can go in and double check these because you know this is kind of way out there but there is some kind of a water thing right here you know it looks like a depression in the earth with a water hole as well as here not sure what this is all about so that's the one northeast of Corning so that would be let's see yeah it would be this one right here Here's the one east southeast of Neelyville, which should be right up in here. And I didn't really find any water air, you know, anything that I was, was kind of noticing that they seem to be around water. Oh yeah, there is one here. And this that's what this looks like here. I'm not sure. Looks like a water area. And so, let's see, we did those two, this one up here, which would be this one here, by Brosley. And you can see that there's 
water right in here. It looks like water anyway, and in here and in here. So then up in the mountains, I guess they're mountains, forested area anyway. Oh, I forgot this one up by town, right here. I had trouble locating this one, so I could be off quite a ways. And I didn't find any water. Well, I did find like a pond over here somewhere, but it looked like right in here. But that looks like something someone just dug out for their animals, livestock. So that was this one right here. And then the one up by St. Louis. There's all kinds of water up there. Let's see. That would be this one right here, here's St. Louis. And that's east southeast of Pea Ridge. There's Pea Ridge right over here. And you can see there's quite a bit of water around in here. There's even some dams and stuff, little dammed areas right in here. Hope I'm not going too fast. I'm seriously behind on everything. Here is um, a plume east of Winona. And that would be this one right down in here. And again, I found a little water area, although there's, you know, there is water everywhere, but all of these ended up landing near a water area right in here. And Winona is right here. And we've got to do this one over here yet, this very large one. And it looks like there's even some more around, but real, I can't really see them well enough to locate them on the map. I can't see where they're originating from. This other one's north of Roby. And again, we're seeing water. Here's Roby right here. There's some water here, and there's water here, just a little one. How to do this in case you want to. When you're locating these, you just kind of you zoom way out to start with. And you start looking for patterns in the landscape. Like, here's this line here. So then there's a line there. And then you start filling in. Well, here's a dark area. And then here's a little leg here, and the little leg comes up, and the fire's just right above that, which is coming from this, and, and you can kind of zero in that way. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, this, this, um, <laughs> somewhat disturbing. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you. Have a good day.